Jacob here, the GHL King, and I am super pumped to bring today's video to you. It's been a long time coming. I've been diving deep into OpenAI, ChatGPT, and the different ways that we can use this tool, this amazing tool that has been brought to the market, and how we can use it in real life situations to actually help improve our businesses, make them more efficient, more effective, and help them make, make them more profitable. Uh, this video is going to dive deep into how can we uh, use OpenAI, use ChatGPT to find, automatically find new reviews that our clients leave on Google, uh, come up with a response to those reviews, and then post the response on Google all within seconds of the client leaving a review. This is huge, whether you are an agency that sells reputation management and you want to add a value add, like Myself, I previously used to sell reputation management as a standalone service and an add-on to that service was we would reply to those uh, responses or reply to the reviews that they got. Every single time they got a review, we would reply within one business day, uh, two, two business days, and we charged $99 a month for that. That's a $1,200 a year add-on that we were using uh, to help bump up our average client cost. Uh, and also, we were providing a lot of value to the client for that because they didn't have to go in there and manually respond to these people every single day. And I'd say about 40 to 50% of the people that we onboarded paid the extra $99 a month for that. So that proves in that situation that these clients, your clients do not want to deal with having to respond to reviews. It's a pain in the butt and they just don't want to deal with it. Now, if you are the end consumer, let's say the business owner, I know that you definitely don't want to be going in there every single day when you get a new review and, and responding to them manually and, and taking the time out of your day to do it. It just becomes cumbersome, it takes time, and it's inefficient. So in today's video, we're gonna break down how you can use OpenAI, ChatGPT, to, like I said, automatically find new reviews that are left on Google, come up with a response to them, and then reply back. So to get started, we're gonna be using two tools. The first one is OpenAI, uh, like we mentioned, and we're gonna be using Zapier. Uh, if you do not have an OpenAI account, you're going to go over to openai.com and you are going to come down to the API section. You're going to go to login. And if you do not have an account, you're going to sign up. If you already have an account, just sign in uh, like I do. And then you are going to go, it's going to bring you to your overview and you're just going to click on your information here. Click on view API keys and it's going to bring up your API keys. And if it's your first time logging in, you're gonna to need to create a new secret key. And I'm already at my max number of keys, so I can't do that. But once you do, it's gonna give you a new API key. You're gonna copy that key, just make sure you copy it. And we're gonna save it. Now, you're gonna we're gonna go into Zapier. If you're not already signed up for Zapier, you're just gonna go over to Zapier's website, sign up for a new account with them, uh, create an account. And you probably need the cheapest plan that they have uh, if you're just doing it for uh, review responses. But if you already have an account, just create a new Zap. And we're going to jump in and edit this Zap so we can see what this looks like. So what I did was, is there's a trigger. So you're going to choose your app or event, which is going to be Google My Business. So actually, I have it right here. Google My Business. The event is going to be New Review. Click Continue. You're going to log in with your Google My Business account. You're going to select the location that you want. Uh, so if you're, uh, you're going to make sure when you sign in with your Google My Business account, you're signing in with an account that has access to the page that you want to respond to the reviews from. You're going to go into set up your trigger. You're going to select the account that you want. You're going to hit continue and it's going to pull in some reviews. Now I can pull in, it pulled in three different reviews for me here. Uh, we can do, let's say B or you can do A. Uh, you pull any of these up, it's going to show you, let's go with C just because it actually has a review response. So it has a comment. And it gives you the star rating. So this was five stars and this was the response that we got from the client. Now you're going to hit continue and then you're going to add a new uh, option in here. I already did that so we're just going to open it up. You're going to connect with OpenAI. So when you do this, you're just going to go in here. You're just going to search up OpenAI. It's going to be right here. You're going to use the event of send prompt. 
and hit continue. You're gonna have your OpenAI account. If you haven't uh, added your account, you're gonna have to connect your account now. And it's gonna just ask for your, we can, I'll show you here. It's gonna open this up and it's going to ask for your API key. So you're gonna take the API key that you got from here that you copied and you need to paste it in here. You're gonna hit save and then you're gonna use the OpenAI account that you created. Once this spins and loads, give it a second here. Uh, I don't know why, it's, yep, you're gonna hit continue. And we're gonna go through our model. So you're gonna select the, from the model, text DaVinci 003, which is the most recent uh, OpenAI uh, text model, AI model. So you're gonna use text DaVinci 003. And the prompt that I use, and this is what I found for to be the most effective uh, way to get a good response from the AI back, is I manually type in here. Response to this Google review, do not include an explanation of why or what you're saying, just include the response. This was a blank, so when you do this, the way that you do that is, this is a five star, so I'm gonna delete this. This is a blank, so this is number rating, five star rating, left by, and then you're gonna use the reviewer name for the company, and then you're gonna put your company name in here, and then you're gonna, let's say we're gonna move this, and you're going to, show all options, and you're gonna put the comment down below. So the comment is the review that the person actually left for you. Temperature, I, le I left at 0.7. Maximum length, I left at 1,000. Stop sequences, I left blank. Top P1, frequency penalty zero, and presence penalty zero. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna hit continue. Well, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna retest this action so you can see what it comes up with as the response to this text to this review. And here's the response that it gave me. So thank you so much for your kind words, Olivia. We're so glad to hear that our team exceeded your expectations and that you were pleased with the end result. We appreciate your business. That's a great response that you can give uh, without having to think of it. Now, if you as a business owner have to sit there and think of this, it can take two, three minutes out of your day. You probably wouldn't have even came up with as great of a response as that, as professional of a response as that. And it just becomes cumbersome every single time you get a review. So you're able to automate this for yourself as a business owner, or if you're an agency, you're able to automate and come up with a response and you can even upsell it as a, maybe an extra $49 a month or $99 a month where you're gonna to respond to people's reviews for them as one of your bumps in your checkout process. So we're gonna hit continue. And the next step that you need to do is you're gonna click on this, you're gonna add a new one, and you're gonna look up Google My Business again. So. Google My Business. The event is gonna be create a reply. So this is where you're gonna to reply to the review. You're gonna hit continue. You're gonna select the um, account. I already did all this, so I'm gonna delete this really quick. You're gonna create reply, select the account, and you are going to, the review name, you're gonna be able to pull from the uh, input of that review. So number one, review name, you're gonna pull it right there. And your reply, this is what you are going to reply as the business. This is what you're gonna reply with. So you wanna pull what ChatGPT, OpenAI came up with. So this is uh, choices text. Thank you so much for your kind words, boom. And we're gonna hit continue. We can retest this action. And within seconds, the reply was sent to Google My Business and now that review has been replied to. So we just tested it. It did it on a previous, uh, a previous review for us. We can hit close, make sure it's on, hit publish. And now that this is turned on for your client or for yourself, every single time that a review gets left on Google, whether it's positive or negative, it's going to come up with a response an appropriate response based on what they said. It's gonna use their name. It can use any different parameters that they're using. Like it can reference things that they said in their review. And it's going to spit back an appropriate human-like response within seconds. This is huge. It's gonna allow you to free up time and make sure that every single response that gets left on your, your Google My Business page gets responded to. Those people, those customers feel valued, appreciated, 
and they get a response and they just feel like a real human has interacted with them and, and they appreciate it. So that is just the tip of the iceberg of what's possible with OpenAI, ChatGPT. I'm super excited for the other things that we can do with this. I've already built out a ton of different tools that I'm gonna be bringing to you. But for now, I think that this is an awesome thing that you guys can implement into your, either your own business or your clients' businesses. And it's gonna be able to help free up time and make you guys more money and make you more efficient. That's all for today's video. I appreciate it. If you get any value from this, make sure you subscribe or like or comment. I appreciate all the interaction that I get. Thanks so much.